everybody and welcome to Jobs and Showbiz. My name is Olivia and today we're here with Jonathan. Welcome to the show. Hello. How are you today? Doing well. Thanks for having me. No problem. It's my pleasure. So we're going to start off by talking a little bit about your character on Rape. Okay. How similar or how different is Leap or is it Lape? Lape, yes. Lape. So there, okay. yeah, no. So the, the, although it is spelled the same as the city of Leap, uh, it is pronounced Lape. So Lape. yes. There is some discrepancies in terms of there's very ways that it's said on the show, but Leif Bayard is the character. Okay, name. Leif. How yeah. similar or different are you from Jonathan? Uh, yeah, well, you know, I think that obviously the you know there are the fundamental differences of time and place. You know, yes. uh, Leif is in, in the 1500s in France, whereas I'm here in Toronto with you in, in hey. 2014. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So you know, there 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 are the. The structures of the time that sort of have, you know changed who he is and, and you know Leif is a character who's come from hum very humble beginnings you know on a farm you know on the outskirts not even near the castle and mm -hmm. sort of worked his way up as a servant and then into the kitchens and then now as sort of a you know a friend and confidant of Francis who's the king um, <clears throat> you know I think that you know uh, the similarities are there are definitely similarities in terms of who I am and who he is I think that. You know, handsome, charming. Well, thank you. You're <laughs> kind. Sweet. Uh, no, but you know, this he's somebody who definitely you know, leads with his heart, you know, and, and believes that that's something that's very important, and that can sort of trump everything else. I'd like to think of myself yeah. as somebody similar to, uh, to that as well, and you know, and sort of a, he's a man of honor, of righteousness, of believing, you know, in, in what he's doing, and, and, and believing in this young king, and you know, and so I think that those are. Those are similarities, you know, that I, I hope to share with him and that I try to sort of bring out of myself. I think that, you know, the transition between, you know, uh, myself and the character pretty much is, is pretty easy, you know. Yeah. Uh, it's just about the accent and uh, the wardrobe and the castle, and that sort of does the trick. Do you find that you're staying in character in between setup? Yeah, you know, well, I mean, for the most part, the, the, the main thread of continuity that I have for the character is the accent, you know, right. and so, you know, as you know, working with me, but I maintain the accent uh, all day, you know, when I'm on set. I, I find that it, it helps me, you know, first in terms of my self-consciousness about the accent, you know, and just rather than feeling like I have to pick it up on action right. and just be in the middle of it, maintaining a a continuity and a flow with it, you know, throughout the day and sort of feeling comfortable with it, you know, so that helps me feel less self-conscious about it. It also helps me learn and sort of, I don't mind getting pointers about it from the people that are, you know, actual Brits on the show. And then of course, you know, whoever can help with the word here or there, you know, so I, you I appreciate that. Yeah, there's, there's a, co I've worked with dialect coaches on the sack set before and then okay. just, I would consider this sort of full immersion while on set. But then the other thing is, uh, I maintain the accent even on days when I don't have any dialogue if it's just something yeah, that's you know it's a scene where uh, you know we just shot an emotional scene where I had to react to something a couple of days ago and I still maintain the accent while I was there because I think that it is an important part of my character and it is an important part of who this guy is you know I, 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 I have a slightly New York accent that really doesn't have much of a place in this castle so I think that it's important for me and it helps me sort of maintain that continuity that you know Sure, this is this is an accent that I have to be good at for the show, but it's also a part of this character. And so, if I'm showing up saying stuff or not saying stuff, it doesn't matter. It's a part of that. Right. So I want to be as you know as as authentic, faithful to that yes. and authentic, as authentic to that to that as possible. So, do you find on days sometimes you'll go to a coffee shop and you'll order some tea and biscuits instead of a coffee? Yeah, well, you know, it's interesting. I mean, especially in the earlier days of, of working with the accent, there's, you know, there's the sort of the tests, you know, yeah. the trying it out in, in everyday see if people life. You. To see if people do. And it's and it's fun, and they do, you know. It's, it's uh, there there's, you know, I, I don't do it as much, like, if we stop for coffee on the way to the set or whatnot. Most of the time, <laughs> I would totally I'll do say, it all like, the time. Like, I do it, this is actually hilarious. If it's like the local Starbucks or, or you know, Tim Hortons or something near me, I don't do it because these are people <laughs> that know me a certain way and yeah, I don't yeah. need to, you know, change <laughs> that. Exactly. Yeah. But yeah. then if it's like if we're just going to like, you know, something that's along the way, like on the way out to, you know, Rockwood or something like that, then I'll maintain it because then it's sort of, it's good. It helps. It, it flows, you know. Yeah, for sure. And you're obviously really positive. So I know being an actor, it's a very competitive field. There's a lot of projection. How do you stay motivated? Uh, yeah, so I, I you know, it, it is a very competitive field. There is a lot of rejection, you know, uh, 
I, I am very fortunate that I've been doing this for a very long time. You know, I, I, the thing I'm most grateful for is that I knew I wanted to do this from a young age. So I started studying young, and then I started working when I was 10 years old. So that has, you know, a lot of ups and downs and a lot of, you know, a lot of rejection, yes, a lot of success and, and, and a mixed bag, you know. But the, the thing that I feel in terms of the, the competitive nature of it is that uh, I am only ever competing against myself. I'm only ever competing against uh, my own ability to push myself to be better, to push myself to be more present, to push myself to be more professional and to learn and to grow myself as an actor. I don't believe to truly be competing against other actors because the, the, the range of things that will determine who gets the job are in the millions. You know, there are things that have, you know, have to do with, sure, me or the other person or height or color hair or, color. or, or hair color, uh. eyebrow thickness, thinness. <laughs> size of your hands, you know, what the person had to eat that day, what you had to eat that day, how, you know, the kind of traffic that was outside, or what they need to do to match you up against everybody else, the infinite number of puzzle pieces that there are. So although, you know, as actors, we are putting ourselves out there, we are putting all, you know, it, all of our, in, you know, intention and our focus and expectation out there, it, it's important to try not to take it personally when it doesn't go our way. And to also to not be bitter when it goes somebody else's way, you know, and, and to sort of to celebrate it because we're, we're a community ourselves, you know. We have to be unified in that. And, uh, and I think that as actors, you know, we, we, we are all competing to get the best work that we can and to work on the most challenging material that we get to. So, I, you know, I'm, I'm trying to push myself. Everybody else, you know, I, I wish them the best of luck yeah. and I'll help out when I can. But, oh, that's, that's you know, great. Yeah. And last but not least, if there was another job you can do on set other than acting, uh, what would it be and why? I uh, I very much hope to direct. Yeah. Uh, I've started doing some uh, some PSAs. You know, it's like it's free training pretty much. Getting to work with camera, you know, sort of assemble my own little crew. And, That's so uh, exciting. Yeah, it's yeah. fun. Uh, I, I work with the Canadian Transplant Society and also with uh, uh, the Canadian Federation of Humane Societies as well. So it it, it was a lot of fun. I I, I do hope to direct. Uh, TV, film, that sort of thing. You know, I, I, I'm doing everything I can to learn the technical. Of course, and if you Lessons can that uh, let me audition, I'd of love course. to audition. Of <laughs> course, absolutely. Anyways, congratulations on the show and the part. Thank you very much. Being a series regular is a pretty big deal. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thanks and thank for you for watching. watching. <laughs> <laughs>